Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today in this chapter, we are going to learn about how to run a workflow using Orchestrator. So generally, you'll be using UiPath Studio to create different workflows. Um, now, if I ask you, how do you run it from Orchestrator or how do you schedule it or how do you run the job from the Orchestrator? So this is something we are going to learn in this chapter. So in the previous chapter guys, I have already taught how do you connect your robot with UiPath Orchestrator. Very small video that you can watch in case you have not. And then you need to continue with this video. Okay, so here what I'm doing, um, you know, I have a small uh, package or workflow that I have created. This workflow generally when I run it, it is going to tell uh, who is that user and give a welcome kind of a message so it says hi rakesh hope you are doing well so this is what i wanted to do it i don't want to run it from uh, the ui path studio rather i wanted to run it using orchestrator so how to do that so the very first step is you have to publish it okay so the moment you publish this is what the window would come and you can hit on just next and hit on publish so the moment you do it what happens um, the particular package or the workflow has been published to the orchestrator. So this is the message. Okay, published successfully. So you need to click on OK. And then the next thing you have to do is you have to log into your platform.uipath.com. That is your orchestrator page. And then click on admin. Click on the service. How do you create a service? What is the service? And everything I have explained in the previous video. So you can definitely have a check uh, in my channel. Um, and you can understand that in very detail okay so with that uh, just now i have uploaded the package so once you upload the package you will find it over here so scroll down your orchestrator page come over here hit on package and there you will find the package and if you click on this it can it, it will give you a, a high level detail of what this package is all about okay so um, so this is what the package has been uploaded right now in the orchestrator now the next thing what you have to concentrate so you understood what is a package right so package is nothing but it's your workflow that you have created in work in uipath studio right so this is this is known as package okay after that the next concept that we should understand what is an environment so this might confuse many of the people what is an environment uh, so to explain this let me give you an example um, think there is a new software which you have to release to all the employees of your company and your company let's say has some 60 to 70 thousand people in the company who should have that new application or new um, program in their computer right so how do you release that so generally the release plan uh, if you if you are aware they do not release the software uh, to all the employees at the same time what they do it uh, do is they roll out in a phased manner right so this is what is all about environment so phased manner so how do you roll out in a phased manner so first you start with let's say thousand employees and see what are the problems they are getting right then rectify that then you put it to another 10,000 people then you you know release that new software to next 20,000 people like that you continue and probably within a period of week or months time you complete the entire rollout right so uh, this is called a phased way of rolling out a software you do not roll out the entire software to the complete entire company you know sometimes you know, not all the time I would say generally as a bet best practice this is what being followed in the company uh, so that is also available with uh, orchestrator uh, called known as environment so environment is nothing but which gives you the opportunity to create or configure number of people whom you want to release this package right this is what is provided through environment so let's see that so you for that you have to click on robots okay and here you will find something called environments so let's say uh, think uh, your company has got 60,000 employees so what you do you create different rollout so phase one phase two phase three in phase one you may keep thousand employees 
in phase two you might keep 5000 phase three you might keep 20000 employees right so in probably in phase five or phase six you can complete the entire release of the package uh, that we call it as a waived way of you know releasing the software so same way it is available with orchestrator all you have to do is click on the plus sign okay so and having the you know having the knowledge as to what is an environment is very critical okay without having that knowledge if you simply proceed and trying to remember then it won't help you so for that you need to understand the concept so already have created uh, three different phases so let me create another one phase four okay the moment you click on create what it does it asks you to choose what is the next set of employees who we want to release the package so when i say employee here it, it is robot right robot is something configured in every client or every laptop so you need to select those robots whom you want to release this package so in this demo i just have one robot so i'm selecting this and clicking on update so what happened now in the phase four i have got couple of robots so in this example i have only have one robot but again that is what your practical implementation that will be you you know utilizing this environment for okay so once we have the understanding of environment the next thing we need to understand is processes okay so what is processes so you got an understanding of environment now let's understand what is processes so processes is nothing but it's a mix of package plus environment that means which package you wanted to roll out to which set of people that is the entire meaning of processes so here i'll be clicking on processes and click on the plus sign and here i need to select the package first right so this is my package and it gives me the you know version number 1.0.3 because i have already done it twice before this so that's why the version has come 1.0.3 and then the environment i have to select so you can select the phase one phase two phase three whom you want to you know roll out this package so right now think i am into phase four okay so i've selected that and you can you know select the priority i would recommend you to keep it normal that's fine and click on create okay that's all so once you do this uh, right now you have an option to start a job directly from here you know you can um, you know you can start a job by going over here and create a job or else you can directly start a job from the processes so i'll be doing it here so the moment i run it what would happen it is telling me uh, which is that robot which need to be which is targeted for this execution right and the priority you can also change it over here so i am keeping it to normal and this is the processes okay so everything is set over here all i have to do is hit on start now you will see uh, that workflow is going to run directly from the orchestrator not from the uh, uipath studio so i'll just i'll be waiting for that to come up okay let's see so you can see there is something happening in the uipath agent on my taskbar and finally the prompt has come so your entire workflow is currently running from orchestrator through the robot that is available in my laptop so through this it is connected to the orchestrator and because through this it is coming right so you can see the uh, the processes name has come over here uipath expo hub demo rollout phase 4 and it is running right now right and this has come so this is a simple example on how to run the workflow using orchestrator so i hope this chapter is quite clear and i think you we can build some complex workflows and try to run it from the orchestrator so thank you for watching this guys please do like do share with your friends do comment as to what you felt about this video and do let me know what else you would like to see um, in the upcoming videos uh, please do comment and please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it yet thank you very much for watching you guys have a wonderful day